Hello everyone and welcome to today's dance lesson. We're working on tango and today we've got that quintessential tango step. We call it the medio corte. Let's take a look. The, the amount of turn is going to vary, but let's start it looking this way first. We're going to go quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. If we didn't have any amount of turn on it at all, it would just go like this. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Let's take a look at the man's footwork. Gentlemen, when we do this step, we're going to do a forward rock, and then we're going to settle down into our foot when we take it backwards. So we step on our left, quick, quick, slow. Now you'll notice this foot's going to be turned out to this wall, this foot stays at this wall. So if we do it from a different angle here, quick, quick, slow. You're going to be in that kind of position. So your hips are going to be in a diagonal, one foot on this wall, one foot on that wall. One of the other things I want you to pay attention to, gentlemen, we tried from this angle, is when we step forward, our knees are bent as always in tango, and we go quick, quick, as we take that back step, we're going to go up into the knee and then settle back down. This will present the woman with kind of an up and over kind of feeling, which will cause her to do something that, with her feet that she's supposed to do, if we do it the right way. Now, guys, one more time, we're going to go quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And from the other side, take another look. Ready, and quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Make sure that when you do the footwork, gentlemen, that you completely transfer the weight from one foot to the other. And what I mean by that is I want you to go quick, quick, slow, slow, as opposed to just kind of in between both all the time. Then the ladies don't really have a very clear idea of exactly where you are. Ladies, let's take a look at your footwork now. Timing is the same. Ready, and quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Ladies, you'll notice when you take your forward step that you step forward on the ball of your foot, and that's because the man took you from an up position into a down position. And when you're dancing in ballroom dances, whenever you go from an up position and you're going to push off the ball of your foot, you always step onto the ball of your foot. If there was no rise and fall, if the man didn't do that and he stayed into his knees, you would then step forward on your heel. All right? In this case, the man straightens up, so you get this up and over feeling. And whenever you get that up feeling and take a down step, you're always going to go into the ball of the foot. So you start here up and over, push off the ball of the foot into the ball of the foot. The other thing that you're going to want to pay attention to, ladies, as you look at it from this side, is that you get your hips underneath the step and turn your head away. Ready? And quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And once again, ladies, the amount of turn is always up to the man, so right now we did it without any turn at all, but your footwork would still be the same. Let's try it with some music. Ready, and quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Take another look. Ready, and quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Let's try it one time without music. Ready, and quick, Quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, and one more time. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. That concludes today's dance lesson in tango. We worked on a medio corte. Thanks very much, and we'll see you again next time.